Hey, what's up guys, Camp and Russia here. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. No cringe intro asking you for likes today. Well, I'm still gonna ask you for likes, but I'm just gonna straight up guilt trip. We're at 6 a.m. in the morning. This is my second video of the night. I got class in six hours. I can't believe this is <laughs> this is a late night, man. Uh, I didn't get to start recording until about 4.30 because the downtime took so long. Uh, so yeah, if you can hit that like button, it helps a lot. Make sure you use code the Camp and Rusher. Uh, and that's about it. If yeah, if I stumble my words more than normal, or if I look a little bit tired, I am a little bit tired. But I am excited. This is a big video. Stick around for the entire thing. To those who do, uh, it goes a long way. It, it really helps the video do well. First off, uh, just to I did make a video on all the changes, but the TAC SMG is the gun um, that's been added this patch. It wasn't in the patch notes, but it, you can only find it at uh, Starry Suburbs from one of those stars. Uh, yeah, you can see, but you can see the stats here. That's why I put it, uh, 2.0, 2.07, is that reload time? I think it's reload time, 35 meg. And I think it's just going to have a little bit faster fire rate than the other ones. But this thing is going to be OP, man. I didn't get a chance to use it or someone use it against me, but I'm already scared of it. Uh, so, so we'll see by the time I wake up tomorrow, I'll have some ideas of how OP this thing is. Hypex, according to Samsung US, you can gift the glow outfit uh, and this is basically confirmed so the glow outfit is the new iconic right or replacing iconic it's the new deal if you buy one of the phones or if you own one of the phones uh, then you get this this skin for for free I guess uh, but yeah you can gift it this time around as well which is which is kind of a cool one uh, we've already talked about all the skins all the skins uh, I, I think yeah skins is what we talked about I don't know if I did the wraps I forgot about the wraps to be honest uh, but we didn't do emotes, that's for sure. So quickly from Hypex, uh, first off, you can go back to a video, I think it's two or three vids back to see all the new skins coming out this uh, the next couple weeks. It just accidentally got leaked early, so we tackled that right away. But yeah, here is a 40 second clip of all the new emotes. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Let me know if you're picking up any of those in the comments section. And then here is the new POI Starry Suburbs. Didn't show it in my last video. Talked about it, but just showing it off here. Uh, it's got a decent amount of loot. It's hard for me to tell though. When I landed there like twice just to try it out and see if I can get the TAC SMG. There's like 30 guys there. So it's hard to tell <laughs> what the loot is actually like because it was so chaotic. Uh, but it seems like a cool place. Uh, a nice little spot. To, to fill that empty area, right? There is a, I don't know, it's a good, good spot, good spot. Moving on here, Fire Monkey. Based on the changes made to the community voting screen, the next skins we get to vote on will all be on release cosmetics. So we are basically picking out a three cosmetics uh, and which one should come out. And yeah, this one sounds a lot more hype to me, right? Uh, the, not, the last one was just kinda, it's cool, right? It was cool, we got some, some choice. But if there's not really a skin in there that you like, which is going to happen most of the time, especially if they've already come out. So say you've bought two of the skins already, uh, which I'm sure it happens for a lot of people, then then you only got really one option anyway. Whereas with three fresh skins, I don't know whether whether even if you don't like them as much, I think it's still going to be a little bit more exciting and, and hype than than skins that have already released. So I think this is a good way to do it. Uh, and I hope they still release the other skins. I wonder if they'll do that, if they'll show three and then not actually release one or two, uh, or if they'll just release later if they weren't voted in. We'll see. Okay, this next part is all gonna be about the event. Now, don't worry, if you are not trying to be spoiled about the event, we don't know too many details. It's similar to last season. We have a lot, we have some stuff here. We got, got a couple uh, pieces of the puzzle. But as with uh, last season's event, uh, a lot of is in, a lot of it is encrypted as we thought, which I'm actually excited for. It keeps a lot of it uh, as a surprise. Of course, remember I'll be live streaming this event once we know the exact date. Uh, there'll be a countdown for this event. Should be above the rocket, 
and and from there that's all we know so here's the event loading screen and this is remember this is the image that was teased with the, an adjustment here because i don't think the mech is actually there anymore right this this was teased a, a few weeks back where the mech was being dismantled and now there's no mech there at all and this is the loading screen for the event okay this is subtitles slash transcripts of the upcoming visitor recordings all right so these could it seems like these could be related to challenges but the challenges could be related to uh the final event as well and the storyline uh, very much so and it's the visitor talking here so it's his recordings all right kind of cool i haven't actually read these so i'll read them with you activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing the zero point must be contained once more if they are correct it will be the end i speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island the interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push now that i witness it firsthand it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable and I'm never, I'm inevitable. I'm not going to say that word. The unintelligible theorem was a success. I, us, you arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion. This effectively paused the singularity, giving us time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction. What I didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from the loop itself. Thus, this hasty and primitive recording and why now you, I find myself looped. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. When I hear this, again, will it help me remember? Or once looped, will I just be as muted as the others, no matter it seems the lengthy precautions worked? All right, dude, what the? Did I learn anything from that? I am more confused than I was before. That was so much. I'm sure we'll have some sort of... Uh, smart person uh, decrypting this a little bit and at least getting something out of it because they feel like there's a lot of juicy info there but man there's a lot of words that i don't understand things that have been brought up in previous seasons but uh i mean it got in line right the interdimensional the the loop the time warp whatever's going on we kind of know we kind of know a lot of it but the details so creative my man so cool that they can do this Okay, um, I'm going to play here. These are sound file files. So this is uh, some of the some of the sounds that are going to actually exist during the, the event while it's happening. Uh, there's some cool ones. Uh, so some of them are about uh, a, a device, and it's a night-night device. Night-night is the code word for this event. And then there are some sounds for, for the tape recordings. And then there's some sounds about the, uh, the, the launch as well. So super exciting. About a minute of them. Here they are. also got this thing here from lucas connected to the event in some way it actually should be in the map right now as well yeah so uh, it's this picture it's like a it's 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 a file called brute virus screen 4 so apparently the brute got some sort of virus uh the mech the mech has something big to do with the storyline i think that's the main reason mechs were not removed from the game as they were integral uh, integral integral why, why am i strong i'm allowed to struggle with words at 6 a.m in the morning uh you know what i mean it's important significant whatever whatever it is to the storyline that's why they couldn't be taken out completely uh hopefully by the end of the season i'm hopefully hopefully this virus takes them out completely so uh <laughs> so pubs could be fun again man the, the mechs holy lord uh why am i coming we've all complained about mechs enough it's almost over but that's going on but also this this seems to be the screen appearing at dusty right now in game you can go to the the visitors desk or computers there and and see this exact image so something is up with the mech 
I don't know if he's discovered this or if he's given the virus to the mech. I'm really not too sure, but I'm sure we'll find out. And finally, here regarding the event, remember Night Night is code name. Fort Tory said, Why are we leaving the early access with the Night Night event? What do you guys think? And with a screenshot here of some files, closed beta, beta, and uh, early access loading. So, and it looks phase one access expired. Phase one beta expired. So, uh, apparently, remember, Fortnite is technically still a beta game. And apparently, uh, one thing I just learned and was reading from HypeX is that. Uh, the reason for this is with console, this allows them to still do weekly updates. Apparently, if you're a full game, you can't do it. Sure, Fortnite could come to agreement with that. Uh, but yeah, this gets me a little nervous, man. We, I want those weekly updates to stay. Uh, but there's a chance we're, we're leave, possibly leaving beta and Fortnite's becoming a full game. So other than what I just said, I, I don't know what that means. But it seems like this event and this season is, is going to be one of the biggest turning points, if not the biggest we've seen yet. And uh, and I think with the new map predictions, now this, the the event hype, uh, I think we can all get behind that. It's, it's going to be a big one, and I cannot wait. If you enjoyed today's video, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to let me know. Touch that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get some editing done. And, uh, yeah, make sure you check out my previous video as well. Have a good one. Talk soon. Take care. Goodbye.